Photoshop doesn't have a good mechanism like Corel Painters, for example, to organize the tool presets. In Painter, we can drag brushes into any number of panels to be used for different paintings. For example, you could have one panel for watercolors, another for oils, a third for watercolor seascapes, and so on. Because of Photoshop's poor organization mechanism for tools, what tends to happen is that we end up with lots of brushes, erasers, and so on, many of which are just variants of the same tool. What's worse is that a particular variant may have made sense for a particular effect in a particular painting, but when we go back to it at a later stage, it no longer makes sense at all. What's even worse, I think, is that there is no way of temporarily creating a variant of a brush, for example one which has some additional scattering, and having this variant's properties persistent. If we select a different brush, when we go back to the brush we've modified, its properties go back to what they were when it was first created. This is something that Adobe really needs to address. I would be very happy if you go to the link in the notes below to add your vote and your support to encourage Adobe to improve Photoshop's tool management. This video explains a workaround to help overcome the poor tool management functionality in Photoshop. First of all, I select the full watercolor tool presets and save them in a folder I've called Custom Sets. I turn on the current tool only checkbox. This immediately improves things because when I select the smudge tool I now only see the smudge presets. When I select the brush tool I only see the brush presets and when I select the eraser tool I only see the eraser presets. I now select the brushes for my painting. Let's say I'm going to paint trees. Well, I find that there are some brushes already. The wet on dry fan scattered leaves CB brush and the wet on dry thick and thin raggedy trunk brush. I select the wet on dry fan scattered leaves CB brush and make some changes to it if I want. Let's say to add some color dynamics. I then save the new tool preset. Be careful here, as we are saving a tool preset, not a brush preset. And call it T underscore wet on dry fan scattered leaves CB. I do the same with the trunk brush. To make the naming easier, double click on the brush, Ctrl C to copy, type T underscore, then Ctrl V to paste the name back in. I'll then do the same for the erasers and smudge tools. Then I go into the tool preset manager and delete all the tool presets except the ones I've just created. The new tool presets will be at the end of the smudge presets. I now save the new set of tool presets in the custom sets folder I've created, calling the new set trees. If I need a new tool preset, say the mask brush soft, I load the full set so I now have all the watercolor tools 
below the tree set. Into Preset Manager, move the Mask Brush Soft Brush to my group of brushes at the top, and then delete the other brushes and save them as my trees set again. Instead of just moving the brush, you could of course create a new one as before. We can now easily select the appropriate tool set for our painting. This workaround is awkward and does take a bit of organization and getting used to, but it's a lot better than trying to work with a very long generic set of tools. Again, I do hope you will visit the Photoshop feedback link I've given you in the text below to encourage Adobe to improve their tool management in Photoshop.